Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today we're unboxing, setting up and taking our first look at the brand new Huawei Watch GT2 and this is a 46mm variant. So this launched alongside the Huawei Mate 30 series. So I was very fortunate to be out in Munich to cover that and you should see some images throughout my social media and also we're going to have a first hands on video as well of the Huawei Mate 30. But I also received this, so I'm looking forward to seeing how well this works. I've never had one before and today we're going to get it unboxed we're going to set it up together and also I'm going to give my first impressions. So enough of that, on the front here you've got the nice design. So this is their classic edition, there's different options and the link will be in the description to Huawei's website where you can actually see the different options you can get. The colour is pebble brown and then you also have a leather strap here. 46 mils in size, so there is also a 42 millimeter variant as well. So turning around to the back, again it just goes through a little bit of the information I mentioned there about the colour the actual strap that we've got, and also you've got Bluetooth down here at the bottom. And except for a couple of little tabs that you need to pull here. So you've got one tab here, you've got another tab here. Turn this back around. So inside your packaging, as well as the watch, you're gonna receive a quick start guide full of information that can help you. You've also got a second band here, so more like a sports band that you can change. That's in a black option. You then have a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging your Huawei Watch GT2. You then also have a charging little disc here, again, that you'll plug that USB-C into that you can connect up and then charge. So let's move this all out of the way and actually delve in and look at our Huawei Watch GT2 a lot more in depth. So taking a closer look at our watch here, we're just gonna take out this actual bit of packaging now. So it looks a really nice design. You've got a stainless steel actual body and casing. Like I said, you've got this leather strap as well in a pebble brown that looks really nice. If you look to the right hand side here of your watch, or depending which side you actually set it to, you've got a power button and a function button as well. So you've got two buttons there. And also you have a chronological sort of design around the actual frame itself. So let's power on. I believe the top one is the power button. You're greeted with Huawei there. One thing I do like with this is the amount of different size options that are available and it will fit a wrist from 14 centimeters to 21 centimeters, depending. And obviously you've got the other band there as well. If you want to use a different band, and I believe we saw a setup process here. Yes, so we're into the setup process, and then you can actually scroll through with your fingers here as it has a touch screen. So this is what it looks like on my wrist. It's quite a big size, but that's great for me being visually impaired anyway. So quick tap there and it wakes it back up. But now we can actually go through the setup process together. So we're gonna select English United Kingdom. On your watch, it says here that you need to download the Huawei Health app. So I've got my Huawei P30 Pro here, so you can do this on Android or iOS. What you need to download is Huawei Health, which I have here. So this is the application. Then you need to do is come along to device and we're gonna add a device here. So we're gonna add a smartwatch. You can add other options. Then what you're gonna do is select the one that you want to actually pair with. So we're gonna choose this top one here. Supports notification, messages, Bluetooth, music, and other smart features, including payments, transport cards, and more. Accurate workout tracking, true scene 3.5 all day heart rate monitoring, 15 types of courses, 13 pre-installed running courses, and voice guidance. Bezelless glass screen, first ever Kirin A1 chip for wearables, and improved power saving technology. So it's nice that it gives you a little bit of insight what your new watch can actually do. So I'm gonna tap pair here. So once you tap to pair, it will say about Bluetooth messaging syncing. This is our model here. So tap this and then I felt a vibration. So now I can click to accept this here. Now it's gonna to begin to pair. As you can see on my device, it's come up with a message here. So phone book, yes, on phone. Then you can go through and select your notifications and which notifications you want to show through your watch. And as you can see here, you have a whole massive list of different applications that you can choose. So let's fire them all on. So notification, access health, yes. Again, we've got to allow. Huawei Home, Huawei System Services, and that's okay. So that's back there. And then obviously you can toggle these on or off depending 
which ones you actually want to toggle on and off. It just says here, only notifications that appear in the notification panel can be sent to your wearable device. For accurate heart rate measurement, please tighten the watch, keep it at least one finger's width away, from your carpal bone. And then finally, you're all set up and you're ready to go. So you have a panel here full of different information and we'll be definitely going through this in a detailed look very soon as well. After I've used it for a week or so, so we get to understand what this is showing us. The one thing I do want to show you though is the different faces here and then they update with different faces depending which one you want and you can pre-select the ones that you want there. And obviously once they're selected there, they'll come straight to your watch. So that's everything on the phone side of it. So let's go back to our watch here. So you've got a pretty standard sort of face here at the moment, but it looks really nice, really elegant design as well. And you can swipe through. So you have the weather, you can store music on here as well. You've got your fitness tracker there where it will fill up around. And obviously you're back to your watch face. You can swipe up as well. You can also swipe down for more information. So loads of different options there. You can press that home button and that sort of will take you back. It's not a home button as such, but I'm going to class it as a home button. The screen size itself is 46 millimeters or 1.39 inches. It's an AMOLED display with a resolution of 454 by 454, which means it's HD. Screen supports slide and touch gestures. GPS is supported. Bluetooth is supported. It comes with a range of different sensors, which are an accelerometer, a gyroscope, geo magnetic, an optical heart rate, ambient light, air pressure. The battery life is 14 days and that's standard use but that varies depending what you are doing. Like I said it has a power button and a function button. The weight of the watch without its straps is 41 grams. Has a stainless steel casing and it works with Android and iOS. With an iOS device here all you need to do is go to the app store and search for Huawei Health and again you can download this and then obviously it's going to be the same features of adding the Bluetooth device which you can do relatively easy and then you can actually decide which notifications you want to come through with your iOS device. So I'm going to work it with both. We're going to stick with Android at the moment and see how well it does with the Android device. And obviously I'm going to see how well it does with iOS as well. So that was a very quick look, first unboxing, first impressions, a very quick setup as well actually using the application. It was all like, yep, yeah, pair it up, set up. Yeah, it's done. Obviously you need to go through here, add in your biometrics and add in different things for you so you know when you're walking a lot more or when you're burning more calories because it knows your height and your weight. You could obviously use the scales as well. If you've got scales, you could obviously use other devices as well to implement different health features and actually maintain a better healthy lifestyle. But I'm so pleased the actual watch is set up and it's ready to go. It looks really elegant and I do like this design with the actual brown leather strap. But I do have the sports option band available as well if I want to. So before I go, let's actually just change the face of our watch. So let's go back to the application on our P30 Pro and we're going to select more. So I like the look of this one. So I'm going to take this one here, press update. As you can see, it's downloading there. And this should push this straight to my watch straight away. There we go. How quick and easy was that? So this time I can keep an eye on different things here. And obviously you can go through and change the different features. So one of the more fun ones is this bright orange one down here. And they do have a nice bright orange band to go with it. This is already installed. So if I just press set as default here, that's saying that is default now. So if I come back to my watch, there we go. And that looks really elegant and really sharp there and ready to use. Thanks for watching the unboxing and the first look at the Huawei Watch GT2. If you do have any questions or any queries, please drop a comment down below. You'll know I'll be more than happy to help. I'm looking forward to really experiencing this and seeing how well it works. And of course, there will be a review in a couple of weeks time. So please watch out on the channel for that. If you really like this video, please leave a like. Also drop a comment down below as it's great to hear from you. And if you haven't yet already, please subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated with all of my latest videos. For me, Ricky, and the brand new Huawei Watch GT2, I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye for now.